Hey everyone. So with my count race that I did between the machines, I got to thinking, of course, both are an interpretive basic and that's kind of to do as much of an apples to apples comparison as I can. But I thought, what happens if I do this in assembler? I haven't touched assembler on the Color Computer 3 in a long time. I've never done it on the Model 16, but the Motorola 68000 looks like it has a lot of the same mnemonics as the 6809, at least on the surface. So hopefully I can translate this. So to get me kind of back used to working with the editor assembler, I figured I would just put together a small assembly program that just basically fills the screen with a bunch of characters and rotates through all the characters in the character set. And when it overflows, it just starts back at zero. So this is my program and it's already assembled. It's not very long. It's pretty simple. It just uh, takes a character, uh, 41 there, that's uh, the value, the hexadecimal value of 65, which is the letter A in ASCII. Um, and then B is just a counter. I count to 255, and when I get there, I start again at zero. And each time I get to 255, I increment the character code from 41 to be 42. So it'll start off as A, then be B, then be C, and just keep looping forever and ever. So let's take a look at it working. <clears throat> There she goes, cycling through all the characters. Um, this machine doesn't do lowercase on the low-resolution text screens, and by default it can do it, but it won't here, so it did the reverse case. That was the lowercase representation. Now we're flowing through the graphics characters with the various color bits set. So this is an interesting little thing to watch. It actually rolls through this pretty quickly. Um, this particular program uses the ROM routines um, I figure if I do a count-off race in assembly language, it's not really fair uh, if I write directly to the screen memory as the Color Computer 3 allows the display's memory map to I And to demonstrate that, actually, let's just uh, pop this off here. Oh, turn on multi multi-pack first, dummy. Okay. And to demonstrate that, you can see it says Disk Extended Color Basic up there. If I poke H400, 65, I'll see disk became A, I ask A. Um, rather than write directly to the screen memory, instead what I do is I call the character out ROM routine that Extended Color Basic offers. That at least makes it go through <clears throat> kind of a layer of software or routines to be able to put the character onto the screen. Um, because the Model 16 is not going to offer me a direct poke to the screen memory. It's going to have to go through a system call. So this is the closest I could get to a system call on this machine. I could load OS 9 and do it that way because um, OS 9 is more modular and somewhat Unix-like, but I figured this will be close enough. So an assembly will be much easier if I'm not dealing with OS 9 system calls. So that's it. A uh, little preview of hopefully what's to come. Once I get the assembler program written for this, I'll go ahead and write it for the 16. Until next time.